Hello, it's my 77th birthday, and I'm Deadpool. Uh, how is this supposed to work? I don't even understand. How does one Gmod video? That is the biggest question I've ever heard in my life. Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, so there's, uh, I'm the deadliest of the fools, and I'm here to tell you that today's video is going to be a very fun video if you all listen to me for just a little bit. I have no idea what I'm doing, obviously, as you can obviously tell, but you know it's going to be a good video because I'm in a... I don't think that's how it's supposed to work, but you all know what I mean. This oh geez, let the flashlight be my hair. Yeah, and this is my doll, it's called Potato. I'm Potato. Okay, bye, bye Potato. Potato doesn't want to be friends with any of you, so Potato, get out of here. Stupid potatoes don't know what they're doing with their life. Well, obviously, they need to learn because uh, that's kind of how stuff works. If you don't learn, you don't learn. And you don't learn, you don't get stuff done, but you know, you need to trust me on this. And I say that I know what I'm doing. Uh, this is my other couch. Just uh, can, can I start the party? Ah, oh, Jesus. Let's cut to the scene where I Deadpool and going to the party. Because that's what obviously everyone here wants to see. The scene where I go to the party, it's the best scene. Ah. And then, it, it was at that moment that the deadiest of the pools, and apparently the police started killing a guy. But mostly, the deadiest of the pools went, oh. Uh, I guess we're saying the police bust someone. You know what, this is a very bad idea. How about I just get to my Red Hummer? And so, the deadliest of the pools at the frame rate. No, not the frame rate. Jesus. Eh. So then the deadliest of the pools. And apparently an explosion went down and killed the police. But the deadliest of the pools bounced around as he always does until they found his red hummer. Frame rate stop, please. Eh. But mostly he just bounced around until they got to his little red hummer. And then got stepped on. This is my ride Hummer and I'm Deadpool, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get inside the Hummer and we're gonna drive away to the miraculous land of food or whatever, I don't know. Get, get in the top of the car now, Deadpool. Get, get in there. Get, get in the top. Dead, Deadpool, I told you what to do. Get, get in the top of your Hummer. It's your Hummer. It's red. It's yours. Go in. Two. Oh my god, Deadpool, you are an idiot. Get in there. Get in there, Deadpool! Come on! Come on! I know you want to get inside your Hummer. Come on. Close enough, let's go! Oh wow, the inside of the Hummer actually looks pretty cool. Ah, oh, no, I didn't do this right, did I? No! Eh. Deadpool, you're gonna kill us all. Now learn, learn how to drive a Hummer like a real person, Deadpool. Okay. And so, what am I doing? And so, they drove away, all the way to, and, and so they drove away, and they drove all the way to the birthday party, like you obviously do. I, I just killed a cop, oh, okay. Ah, Jesus. Ah, we're all gonna die. Quickly! Someone, edit the video. Cut us straight to the party. I don't care. Just do it. Cut us. Cut this part out. And then, it, it was at that moment that the deadiest of the pools... And then, they... Ah, oh, Jesus. Why do I have to always start that way? Okay. And then, it was at that moment that they decided today's the day to drive to the party in style. Close enough, if you ask me, that's close enough. Someone cut to the next scene, please. I don't like doing this. Uh.
And so, after a long-awaited journey, Deadpool got to the party like he was always supposed to. But for some reason, the shark was not a happy shark. Where am I even pointing? Oh, there I am. Hey, Deadpool, uh, how are you? If you're looking for everyone, I'd, uh, everyone's kind of doing their own thing. Most people were passed out in the kitchen because Donkey Kong is a good party. Or I mean, look at the guy over there. Uh, he's like, whoa. I don't know. For some reason, I ended up dancing for Katy Perry or something. I don't know. Uh, you, you go look for people. I think Link and Kratos are downstairs talking about, I don't know, war or something. Probably. Uh, yeah, just look for anyone, Deadpool. I really don't care what you do. Not, not, not Deadpool, no. Oh, okay, I gotta, I'll go to the kitchen with all the drunk people. I swear to God, this video is going to kill me or something by the end of the day. Like, Jesus, this thing's terrible. Oh, my God. Uh. And so, Deadpool went into the kitchen where he discovered most people actually are knocked out or passed out or something. He didn't really care. Why am I here? I don't understand it. Oh, Donkey Kong, hi. I see you're here. Okay. Oh, uh, we got people over here. We got this, uh, someone. It's a person. She's passed out on the stove. Can I turn the stove on? No, I can't turn on the stove. I'm just dead before. I can't do any of that. But we got this, uh, who on earth are you people? We got this, like, a girl person and an alien, apparently. Alright, I'm gonna go find Lincoln Kratos. I'm gonna annoy them. That's kind of my job. You know, they were downstairs? I think he was. I'm gonna go that way. Because that's what I do. I'm Deadpool. I annoy people. Hey, come on. Come on. Come through the door. Come on. You can go down there, can't you? You know how to do that? Yeah, you do. Come on. And so Deadpool traveled down the stairs in probably the most awkward fashion imaginable from me. The shark told him to go downstairs and annoy people because I'm the writer. And sure enough, Link and Kratos were down there having a very good conversation about something that no one cares about because Link and Kratos are probably the least interesting people in this video because I'm here and so is Deadpool. Oh, you're both here. Come on, come on. Can, can you get up? Get up off the floor. Yeah. Yo, what's up? Hi. 
Uh, Link, Link, come on. I, I, no, no, okay, Deadpool, get out. This is not your conversation. This is my convo. You get out. No, it's not yours. I have a very deep man voice, and I'm trained for battle, and I will kill you. Even if you're unkillable, I have killed the gods, so I know what I'm doing. No, just trust me on this one, man. You don't want to make me angry. Don't do it. Uh... Well, fine, man. I'm just going to go to sleep in the bed. I don't care. You guys can keep being annoying or whatever. Oh, and also, I'm not sleeping in anyone's bed. I'm sleeping in your mom's bed. Take it, Link. Take it like a man. Or a girl. Whatever you are. I don't know. You look kind of awkward. Yeah. And so Deadpool traveled back up the stairs. And, oh, jeez. Deadpool, what are you doing? Yeah. So he traveled back up the stairs. Traveled. Ba traveled. Tra tra traveled back. Traveled back up the stairs. Oh, frame rate. Why must he do this to me? And after traveling, he eventually managed to get up the stairs. And the most awkward of awkwards. And if possible, he did. He traveled. Only to see it was Bowser behind the door. Yo, what's up? Hi, how are you? Yes, hi. Bro hugs, yay. Ah, ah. I just killed him. I can't let the cops see. They'll have to figure out that I actually care about someone. Nope, I'm not doing that. No, no, nope. I'm gonna go annoy whoever's back here. We and he found out it was the Lego guy. And Dead will have no idea what to do, because he has no idea how to annoy people when they're asleep. That's too much trouble for him to go through. Uh But little did they know. Now one guy that Deadpool ran over earlier. Hey back to life is a Sammy! And he was evil, and he was going to attack everyone. I turned them all into zombies, like that. Except, uh, that, and that person also became a zombie. He's open. Why is he going to Yeah, he's here. Um, hey, hey, and... And it started its journey. Oh, it's going for the police, okay. But the police zombie started his journey all the way to where Deadpool was. Going across the street and attacking everyone it saw, including the pigeons, apparently. And it just continued on that journey. Because that is what zombies do. They obviously follow the main person in the story, because that's kind of what they do in life, I guess. I don't know. And after that, I tried to get out of here because I just ended up killing a crap ton of people and I really don't want to be here after that happened, so I'm going to go back to the house now. It was at that moment that everyone gathered around to watch me, the sharkiest shark, open the presents. Oh, oh there goes, yes, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, no, not the camera, no, not the camera. Now you guys can't tell what's going on. Oh my god, I guess I'm gonna have to do this the lazy way and just actually show you guys what's going on. Wait, can I move the camera back? Do 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 do. That's a new job. Do 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 what does the camera show me this time? I just know to screw this camera. Yeah, just, just screw the camera. No one cares about the camera. Only, you guys can tell what's going on. Okay, so then I have the shark. This is the shark. Stand by. I'm like, yay, thank you everyone for my presence. Sir. Uh, wait, why don't I actually just read in the voice? Oh, yes, thank you guys for my presence. There's so much presence, even though I'm never going to open them because this is stupid and zombies are probably going to come or something. This is a YouTube video made in Gmod and we all know zombies or War Five Nights at Freddy's are coming. Because that's kind of what happens to Demon nowadays. Oh, uh, I broke my lamp. <laughs> it was that moment Donkey Kong was all like, Whoa, dude, no. No, man. No. I'm a gorilla. And threw the present at me. You're going to open it. And for some reason, there was a water sound effect. 
But at that moment, the Deadpool, for some reason, just showed up, and he was all like, Yeah, I'm here now. You all better come stop complaining. Okay, I'm here. Finally, I woke up, and now I'm back. You all better love me. But we didn't want to love Deadpool. Because Deadpool was a jerk. And he wasn't the party to begin with. Bowser even showed up before you. How is that possible, Deadpool? Oh yeah, because you're a little jerky jerk. Hey, you get out. You don't go to my house. Where do you even go? Oh yeah, yeah. You, you all know what exactly is going to happen, don't you? Because you've all seen these type of videos before. You've all seen them. The zombies show up. And everyone starts to die. Dun, dun. It was a but much to the disappointment of everyone there, and apparently I took a screenshot. There were zombies everywhere, ranging from weird skeleton-looking zombies to normal people-looking zombies, and they were all going to go towards the house. He said they couldn't get in because the door was closed, so I'm gonna have to open the door for everyone. There I go. I'm gonna help out everyone. I'm the creator here. This is my job. I'm God or something. I don't care. I need to do something. There I go. Don't ever ignore the players. Oh Jesus, another coming! Eh, bad idea, bad idea, why did I do that? Oh my god, no, no, get in, close the door, close the door, oh my god, no, close it, close it. Yes. Yes, now the video can commence. Deadpool quickly looked outside because he heard some random noises and it is Deadpool and wasn't even supposed to be here in the first place. It was in that moment he saw all of the zombies outside, and his Hummer was gone for some reason. He didn't know what to do. Uh, I don't know what to do, guys. Uh. So he went and told everyone. It was in that moment that I had no idea what to do. So of course I went and checked, and it wasn't pretty. Because... I I'm just a shark, so I'm not gonna fight. Sharks don't fight, obviously. I'm just gonna go back here and hide behind my present. It was at that moment that the Bionicle guy said I was a loser and I needed to try harder and be a man. And so he quickly decided today's the day for him to enter the battle of battles against some zombies. So he went towards the door and then realized there were a lot of zombies and I had to give him a bazooka. So I had to give him a bazooka. So I, he, he told me. But I hit the wrong thing and removed him. Oops. You got removed. So that chair. Because that chair is not... And the broken lamp. It says remove all of that. But don't worry. I know what to do. I said, so I quickly went to the NPC section and gave all the NPCs an RPG. And not an RPG like a game, no. An RPG like a thing. At that moment, I went over to the NPCs and gave the freaking Bionicle dude what he needed. First, we had to put him somewhere where the zombies wouldn't find us. We asked and we asked if anyone had any ideas. The shark had no ideas. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just here. Deadpool was just lazy, because he could kill them all whenever he wanted. He just wasn't going to help because no one here knew what they were doing. None of them knew what they were doing. None of them. And most of them apparently like to look at the sky. Some of them like to look at the ground. I, I'm not really sure why they want to look at the sky or the ground. But they did. It confused me. So much that the guy carrying the camera right now, whoever he may be, had to use the restroom. Then he realized that this here is probably the worst restroom in the history of restrooms. So he very quickly said no to that. Because the door did not close like it was supposed to. So, he very quickly, after he got done going to the potty pots, tried to find a way out. He did not know where to go. So he found it. The garage. It had everything they needed. Windows. A bicycle. It was apparently not rideable. Some boxes. 
they could probably throw them. And a door. This is everything they ever needed if they wanted to escape. And so they were. The Bionicle guy came back with a freaking bazooka. <laughs> and in order to avoid me and getting me hurt, I very quickly hit the ignore player button. This, the Bionicle guy was such a man. Being manlier than anyone else because he was actually willing to fight. And so after I took a while trying to figure out how to open the garage, I did. The Bionicle guy was a man willing to fight with his bazooka. He was not very good at it. But trust me when I say, he hit them a little bit. He killed this one, poor creature. But after they saw that they could fight back, someone else decided to fight with him. It was the... Give, give me a minute. Uh, the person who also had a bazooka. Because why not? And being zombies, they had never had any idea what they were supposed to do with their life. Because zombies never know what they're supposed to do. Because they don't know. They don't. It's kind of how life works. After the zombies found out everyone was inside here, they quickly ran. And were ready to attack at any moment. So I hid behind the door and just waited for everyone to not kill each other despite the fact that I and all knew I hid in the closet because I'm the worst narrator in the history of narrators and is scared I mean why wouldn't I be scared? That's terrifying, Jesus the zombies are going on, people are shooting bazookas you mean tell me that these people aren't going to die or something? Look at them no, no, get back no get back get, get back Get back! How did you miss that one? He wasn't even moving! It turns out the NPCs were very terrible at what they were doing. So I still hid behind the door. The only place I could find myself safe. Until eventually I figured out the only true way... The zombie torso has killed someone. And that's never a good thing. We decided to arm ourselves with whatever we could find. Bowser decided to take this little doll. Because Bowser is a complete wuss and he wants to fight with a doll. Not like he really has to fight anyway, but he has to. It's kind of how life works. And when he decided to fight, he was going to fight the only way anyone knew how. Like a real hero. He is too fat to fit through all the doors, but it doesn't really matter. He still got through there anyway. He fought with very brave powerful efforts and he wasn't going to just give up I got hurt somehow through some force of nature but it didn't matter because I was being protected by this giant fat turtle monster and he very bravely fought and he killed a couple of some zombies, But, that didn't last for long. Because eventually those flying zombies came, and they got him. It was very, very creepy. And no one liked it at all. Bowser was quickly mauled. By all the zombies. He was attacked and killed it. 
But then Bowser came as a zombie, because he's Bowser, and that's what they do, obviously, when people get hit by zombies. They come back to life as zombies. Dun, dun, dun! Do you all want to know what's going to happen next? I do, too, because I have no idea what's going on. I'm improving. Ah! There was great unrest. Everyone was worried. The shark, to end all the sharks, was discussing what to do with everyone else. No one understood the thing that anyone was doing. All we knew was that everyone enjoyed looking at the ground. Or the ceiling. They kept alternating and it was really confusing. Eventually Donkey Kong had an idea and it was beautiful. Arrrr. No one understood a thing. Link had another idea, but no one trusted him. Yo, why don't we just go do something else? I mean, come on, I mean, we can get out of the house. We have a Hummer, don't we? Didn't Deadpool bring a Hummer? I mean, it's probably somewhere. I painted a Hummer white when I was down in the kitchen because, I mean, you know, I'm an idiot, so I paint things. Duh, what else? The Xenomorph was not pleased with anyone's stupidity, so he quickly said, screw you guys, and he left. Through the door. If he could ever get to the door. And you know what, let's just, let, let's, yes. And he was very angry with everyone and how stupid they were. So he just left. Because, I mean, I, I'm pretty stupid and angry too, in this situation. I mean, it's, I mean, are you serious? You guys are idiots. You are. Apparently, though, it was impossible to leave. How do I get out? Yes. And bit being impossible to leave, he's just asking me to kill him. So I did. With the only tool I could think of to kill something that's not even alive to begin with. Whatever it is, and so the remover tool. He was quickly killed. And so were some of the zombies, because I just have to help some of the heroes live, don't I? I'm pretty mean if I don't let some of the heroes live. Hey you! You zombie! <laughs> so eventually, everyone that was left tried desperately to figure out a way. Eventually they all said, let's just go into the garage to the Hummer. Kratos being that person who actually takes the initiative because he's like the smart guy here. So they all went into the Hummer. Because that's the only place they could think of on where to go. I hit the button a lot of times. So I think everyone's gone and frame rate should be good enough for me to go into the garage and get into the Hummer. The Hummer's gone! Oh, there I go. Yes. The Hummer is back. So, they got into the Hummer to drive away to freedom! Jesus, I'm a terrible driver. Why am I ever doing this? Oh my god, someone kill me please! <laughs> Eventually, they all thought they were safe in this new place that apparently had a lot of building. Like a lot and a lot of building. When they noticed there was something strange, there was water. And where there's water, you all know what that means. A way for people to get there. And when that's a thing, then, uh, then, uh, then, then, oh, there he is. Then there's a way for zombies to get there. Yes, it was Bowser, who was now a zombie. He quickly came to the shore and it was all like, 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 a, like, this doesn't look zombie enough. This just looks like a skeleton. What, what, no, I'm supposed to fix this somehow, aren't I? Uh, no, 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 no
Perfect. It was him. It was back. But now he was a zombie. And he was not ready for just anyone to sit there and let him not do his job. He was going to come over there and attack the people. As a bouncing zombie. Because that's what bouncing zombies do. And so he attacked the people. Like, rawr! He attacked them, and, and then... Lunch, what? We lunch. I don't know. Oh. And then, and, and then they all... I'm not talking. They all dead. Oh. 